you play the turntable as an instrument, you're a musician, you're a turntablist. I think if you're utilizing vinyl and you are using it to make a new sound from an old sound, that to me I guess would be the turntablist. <laughs> Any form of scratching, I would consider turntablism, and I and I guess turntablism goes more towards the the musical side of things. If you pick up a stick off the ground and banging it against a five-gallon bucket in some type of rhythm, you are a musician, uh, and I think the turntablist just means that you're using it as an instrument to create your own original sounds. Just being able to have vinyl in, in your hands, it kind of gives you like a sense of power, creativity, you know, it kind of gives you a sense of, uh, I don't know, just power, I guess, like creative power, just being able to do whatever you want. Like I've always just had an affinity for vinyl in general and the sound, the analog sound. And I think it's amazing just how a fucking record works. I mean, it's it's just amazing that you can get such brilliant sound off a piece of plastic with a tiny little diamond on the end of a piece of metal, you know what I'm saying? There's so much you could do with vinyl. Like, it's very hands-on. You can't, it's, it's hands-on, it's just, that's what it is. I view the turntable as an instrument because of just the, the possibilities that you can have. It's just, you know, it's very, it's, it's not like a guitar. You know a guitar string sounds like a guitar string pretty much every time you pluck it. Look at a guitar, for instance. It's got six strings. Look at a turntable, it's got vinyl on it. It's what you use, both of those mediums helps create the sounds that you're, you know, manipulating, whether it be like a string and changing the frequency as you move your hands or moving your hands back and forth to change the frequency. It's the same thing. I mean, there's a lot of very great songwriters and very great musicians that have, haven't had a lick of musical training, but since they play a guitar, they're accepted because they're good. And if you play a turntable, since it's not a guitar, you're not accepted. No matter how good you are at the turntable, it's still just a turntable. I definitely see the record player as, uh, as being an instrument. And I think that in some ways, I mean, that kind of depends on whoever's using the instrument. Because it can, it can be just a record player and just be used to reproduce sound and play the records. But, um, you know, if the person, if the turntablist takes it upon themselves to to manipulate that vinyl and to make something new out of it, then you know, then you do have a, a musical instrument and it is being used to do that. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of things in history that, that were meant for one thing and people said, uh, yeah, we could use it for plethora of other things. And like, think about the first time someone plucked a violin. I mean, it's a bowed instrument, you're sitting there bowing it, and then someone's like, hold on a second, I can sit here and bing, ba bing, 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 bing. And then that started in classical music and people started plucking in classical music. That's the fun of it, is how everyone can strum this instrument, how can I do something different? Yeah, I, yeah I'm totally not using the turntable for what it was intended for. I think it was intended for music playback and we're doing something totally different with that. You know, everybody will get kind of weirded out when you're just playing a record and you start touching it. They, you know, it's, it's weird to a lot of people. They don't understand. And that's just because you're doing something different with something that's so established that kind of people don't really expect that. People will always appreciate the sound of, of scratching as, as an incorporated element into certain things. So. You know, I mean, it's not like you can get that sound with any other instrument. So, you know, there's something that's timeless about it in that regard.